Greetings YouTube and welcome back to version 2.4 of Monmouth Quest Paradox RPG. This time, let's go straight into the castle. You may recall on the bulletin board we had Candy complaining about something or other. So let's see what's up. Haha, <laughs> we've cornered it! Come on! Nice and quiet, get eaten. It looks so very tasty. What's this? What's this? These rather uh, gladness types seem to be making a ruckus. Help me, please! That appearance. Could you be candy? Yes, that's right. You won't eat me, right? The cake is talking. Yeah! Alright, we can't eat your, our allies. Ah oh, jeez, so yet I just said last video that you always know exactly what to say and now you come out with this. Can't eat your allies. Fair. <clears throat> so, with Sonya shrieking, all the, uh, the hungry types flee. So then, why have you taken on this new form? My power was stolen from me by Cassandra. By mother. I see. So now you've gotten her. Now you've tasted revenge from Cassandra. But we are allies here. And we can't forgive this, uh, this type of action. But, Cassandra in quest- the Cassandra in question I haven't seen in the castle. Did she flee after stealing your power? Wait just a minute. I'm going to conduct some scrying magic. Magic sounds. It seems like she is in the Poison Swamp, in the east of the Gold region. I feel a strong power there. I think that she's returned to her... I think that she's returned to her previous power. Again with the Eastern Poison Swamp. Don't the evil women tend to turn up there unusually often? Anyway, let's go have a look. But, be careful. She, at the height of her power, was an equal of my mother, the previous Mao. So, in case you forgot where, that's where it is. We just warped to Gold Dog, and we're here. Is it where the event always is in this swamp? Oh no, it's like four tiles away. Hi, Cassandra. You're looking... different. <clears throat> You're quite late, aren't you? As expected, you've returned to your normal appearance. Now that I've recovered my true power, I no longer need to hesitate. With the 15th gone, I'm going to stand at the pinnacle of the monsters. Mother! What about our dream of becoming idols together? All of that was obviously a lie. My ambition is to rule over all monsters. No way! We tried so hard together, though. So. Well, we won't allow you to bring chaos upon the world any further. We're going to defeat you here. Very well, have at thee. Defeating you here, I'm going to show my power. Yeah, good luck with that. Ah, 
Oh, you survived two attacks. Your true power ain't all that. All it's cracked up to be. No way. Even with my full power, I can't win. Like this, you aren't even worthy to stand at my mother's feet. And with this, the curtain is drawn on your ambition as well. Mother! Is it true that the, our dream of being idols was a lie? Well, to call it a lie isn't correct. My spirit regressed along with my body, and I temporarily met you there. Nothing more. I'm going in place of Alice Fees the 15th to rule over all the monsters. Yeah, even saying that, your presence has diminished considerably after this fight. That ambition of yours, even within you, it's wavering, is it not? That's right, I... Now, I'm taking back my power. Hey, don't just butt in whenever you feel like it. We're explain doing explanations here. Ah, uh -huh. So, Cassandra's power is stolen by Candy. Hey, <laughs> I'm back to normal. Hey, you. What are you doing to Mother? Emily, help me out. Steal my power from Candy. Oh, jeez, these guys. <laughs> so, we got into a power stealing competition and we ended up like this. I can't think of it. No, I, I guess if I tried, I could think of three more deserving people. But even if there are more deserving people, that doesn't mean these three don't deserve it. They totally do. Alright, I'm going to eat the one on the far right. You guys can eat the other two, who look unappetizing. Please don't eat me! Ugh. Oh, why did it come to this? Have you looked in the mirror recently? Not only because it's funny, but because it's your fault! Anyway, with this, Cassandra is safely back in our party. So, let's continue our journey. Promising, can we have any scenes without you butting in at the end? Okay. Now, while we're on the topic, a new race change has become available. I sneakily took a sample of Cassandra's cells. In her blood vessels, there was mixed the... DNA of various types. And I, my experiment to discover a, a way to empower aquatic, the aquatic race from Yoma's, from Yoma DNA, was a success. So now Yoma's can become aquatic monsters. So like half of all the races can now become aquatic. Okay, sure. Ah, yes, while we're here. Cassandra's over in this room. And I wanted to show you she actually has two forms now. Her uh, full form. And her less hideous girl form. So... I suppose other people might like that form more than I do. It's available now. Next up. Elias had a task on our message board as well. Some of you may have been mad that I was here at Snow Heaven before with this event easily in reach and I decided to go to the Polar Bear Settlement and not even mention this last video. But here I am and it's time for us to do this new job or whatever she was talking about. I'm sure these guys will disappear once we do the event, so I want to talk to them. First thing to note, they've taken the uh, 
quasi-angel names that Elias gave to them. So this is Inuel. She's saying, there are a lot of angels around here. Is it okay if I bite them? You've become quite, uh, not to say manly, but powerful, haven't you? Yep. Although she's supposed to be some kind of underling, she's uh, Elias's good little guard dog. And Puru Ko is now going by Puruel. Coming this far was a whole lot of trouble. I'm so very tired. But just coming this far by itself is quite the impressive feat. Getting swung around by Elias, you've become quite strong. I'm proud of those two, really. Anyway. You've done well to come. I've been waiting. Well, hearing about this new job, we couldn't stay silent. So let's have an explanation. So then, I'm going to create a new job. In this place, even my power as it is now, with my power as it is now, I should be able to create jobs. So then, just uh, what kind of job? You folks, during the collaboration incident, were able to mingle with some unknown people. And amongst them, certain techniques from other worlds caught my eye. Hey, wait. Why do you know about all this? Could it be you're worth spying on us? Looks like they haven't figured out that we uh, sneakily blended into some crowds there. How dare you call me such a disreputable thing as a spy? But let's return to the topic. I caught eye of certain techniques from the other worlds. Specifically, it was occultism. Come, Hakanan. Please give us a simple explanation of occultism. Um, me? So, in occultism, well, occultism is a set of techniques for using the techniques of the strange ones. The strange ones being, I guess, the term in Hakkinen's game for Monster Girls. Anyway, while still retaining your human form, you're able to use techniques that humans shouldn't be able to. So by seeing, observing well the techniques of the strange ones, you make them yours. And that itself is the technique of the occultist. Exactly. In truth, I attempted to research such a thing. So that while being an angel, you, we could use the techniques of the monsters. But it always ran amok, and I was unable to, to achieve any acceptable results. That plan was put on hold, and I gave up on being able to copy monster girl techniques. But now, before me, is a perfect specimen. Hakunin, that is you. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. So, with my Elias eye, I've already completed analysis. The techniques of the occultist should be able to be emulated in this world. So, that being the case, the prelude concludes and I shall begin the ceremony for recording the new job. Job record list access. New job. Begin record. Setting the date of the occultist. Commencing write. There, I am done. Eh, already? Appending a new job is surprisingly simple. 
I am the goddess Elias. Ah, uh, I made her angry. The job system is a system for the management that I made for the management of adventurers. And I am the manager of that system. This much is simple. So now, the job occultist is now applicable in this world. Hakunin, don't you feel something? Oh, somehow. It feels like that time when we touched the book of... the book of job change. Due to his experience in the other world, Hakunin learns the occultist class. Through your experience in the world that you came from, it being applicable in this world as well, you've done this. Also, I will give you the job change item for occultists. Alright, the strange one's seal. So with this even in this world, we can become occultists, huh? The, cult, the occultist is, as Hakunin explained earlier, it's a job where you can use the occultism of the monsters. But it's not like in the normal classes where you level up you rank up the class in order to learn techniques. In battle, if you see what the monsters are using, then you'll, you'll need to see what the monsters are using in order to copy it. Copy the monsters' techniques. Now that you mention it, earlier, Hakunin was saying something like that. Rather than an explanation, it's faster to have you see it. Goba, would you show us your killer technique? Huh? Me? Is the goblin punch okay? Yes, I do not mind that. It's a good one to learn, so please do it so that Hakunin can see. So then, here I go! Goblin Punch! Yeah! And Gob fires off a Goblin Punch. Uh, I've seen it, truly. Oh, this is... Hakunin has learned the Goblin Punch. So, this technique just now, I can use it too, it seems. I see. Occultists. The occultist in this world is uh, this sort of thing. The occultist can learn certain skills that he observes in battle. That is called learning. So the are they transliterated learning the English word into Japanese so learning I said before and you can do learning and learning ing but rather than that silly thing I'm just going to use normal English but there aren't very many skills that you can learn You need, you'll need to fight with various enemies and uh, find them out for yourself, please. Uh, further, if the occultist isn't in his right mind, then learning is impossible. So take care of being KO'd or petrified or confused, probably others. So it's no good if the occultist himself can't properly observe it. Does the person who 
accepts the attack, that is the target of the attack, is it fine if it's anybody at all? Yes, the occultist himself does not need to be on the receiving end of the attack. As long as they can see it, learning is possible. Further, it's not only that you can learn from the enemies. The occultism that your allies have used, you can also learn. In summary, if I used this goblin punch that I learned in battle, then in the event that there are other occultists in amongst your allies, by seeing your punch, your goblin punch, they can learn it as well. So. Amongst the cultism, there are many skills that have uh, special properties. So the more that you learn, the more versatile, the more versatility you can put this class to. With this, we've completed the explanation of the occultist. Make good use of it, and may it be profitable in your adventures. So with this we can job change into the occultist class. Let's hurry up to the Ilias temple and do some job changes. He says to himself like I'm actually going to listen to him. But we are going to Iliasville at the very least. To start with, come on, the Metal King. He hasn't got anything new to say, but he does have something new to sell. This is the Noble Orb. Very well, take it. And we get a Noble Orb. Do you want anything else? No. Gather medals, come back, blah, blah, blah. So this new thing appeared, and nobody mentions anything about it. But it exists. It's a job change item, but I'm still not going to do a job change yet. Because the Shinigami left something on our message board. So let's hear it. First off, there's been a change. This used to be a new game plus. Now it's time reset. And now we've got in the suddenly new, new game plus, and we can also reset the collab scenario if you wanted to. So there's that challenge. There's that change in this. The battle challenge has been changed. Yeah. The battle challenge has been added. <coughs> Excuse me. So what's this battle challenge? The condition of the world is getting worse and worse one-sidedly. You guys are going to need even more power. Normally, I wouldn't be the one to, to guide you through this, but I can't help but say it. But, uh, so, you can come and challenge me in order to improve your powers. Here's our current record. Obviously zero, and here's an explanation. So, the battle challenge is three turns where you try to get the maximum total of damage dealt. So when the challenge starts, you'll start a battle with me. But at the end of the third turn, the battle ends. In the battle, I'm not going to attack. But, on the other hand, in this mode, you'll be unable to defeat me. In this challenge, racial attacks will not be applicable. So there are abilities and skills that deal extra damage to ghosts, and Shinigami being ghosts, they would do extra damage, but in this challenge they won't. 
Also, time stop is impossible, and certain special skills will be ineffective as well. Furthermore, during the challenge, you can't change your party members. So you get three turns to fight with the four members that you choose. In the battle challenge, you can't receive experience points or gold. Just concentrate all your efforts on dealing as much damage as possible. At the end of the third turn, the battle ends. All the damage that you dealt will be counted up in total, and that will be your, and that will be displayed at the end of battle. According to the results, I have prepared rewards. So, do your best. All right, I'll give you three turns. Now attack with all your might. You bet I will. The way the Berserk works has changed, in particular. Oh, it's already over. Oh no, I did better in my test run. Anyway, I was saying, the Berserk skills have changed. The Berserk algorithm has changed. Before, none of the darkness techniques, which you may have seen Vanilla using, were usable by Berserk. At least not without hacking the game. But now they do. It kind of deals some damage to Vanilla, but... Well, life is cheap. Anyway, Shinigami saying, Very well, your total damage is... 93,654,700. And there's my record. Oh, a new record. Your results this time, I will be recording as the top score. And your damage has exceeded 100,000. Take this reward. Achievement. The Reaper also smiles. And she gives us a pizza. Your damage has exceeded 1 million. You may take this result. Reward. Okay, these are pretty rare. I may not have actually have had any of these up to this point. Your damage has exceeded 10 million. You may take this reward. And we get the Majin Gyoku. Just what is this? I feel such magic power that it takes my breath away. Yeah, what what is this? I get a cold feeling from it. So from this Majin Gyoku that we received, we feel a strange and bizarre feeling. Just what is this item? This is, most likely, a job change item. Just what it's for, I don't know, but it's definitely not something normal. Well, this says job change, but it's actually a race change. Anyway, such a terrifying item. Uh, but for that very reason, the power we receive must be pretty great. Well, come and challenge me again. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm going to get the new record that I wanted. So let's do this. Again, there's another, there's another uh, reward at Ichioku. I mean, a hundred million, and I want to show it to you. It's not especially special, but I wanted to. All right, you didn't break your record. Last time. Oh, all right. Your total damage this time is 
15,990. Oh, a new record. Your results this time I will record as the new top score. Achievement! The Reaper is also shocked. Your damage record has exceeded 100 million. Accept this, re accept this reward. And one of the gems from the Labyrinth of Chaos. Anyway, it goes on like that. There are another seven orders of magnitude where you get new rewards. Yeah, good luck getting all seven orders. I don't think I could with the techniques I've used. But I haven't been into the new Labyrinth of Chaos in a while. And I certainly haven't been deep into it. Looks like I've completed all the tasks I have on my list. This may be a little short, but it's good. I want to show you some of these things we've learned. Starting with some nobody. This fencer is the job that is unlocked by the noble orb we bought from the Metal King. And in order to take the fencer class, you need to master the noble class and also have the job item. Here's a cultist. I never showed you about the psycho soldier, but the base psycho soldier is here, the esper. High psychic is the second, and psycho soldier is the top level. It looks like there's a another job available, a top fencer, and also a top occultist, and also a top Hero of Justice! Which didn't used to have a top level job. But now if you complete it and something else, I'm afraid I don't know what just yet, you get to unlock this thing. That's not new. Yeah, that's all the new things to cover. No, no that isn't all the new things to cover. This is going to be unlocked after the big event of 2.40 which we'll be getting to next time. But more importantly, this uh, race change we just learned. If you complete Human and Noble Yoma and Yolshin and Knight Emperor, you can change to this, the Majin. So you need to start out as a human and go through Promising's race changes and then get to the top level of Yomas and the top level of demi humans and the top level of vampires, and then you can change into this thing if you have the Majin Gyoku from the Shinigami. And between between videos, I took the time to level up Sonia so she can get this. Not quite the same as I expected. I expected actually to see SS ranks in all of the all of the parameters and interestingly the defensive items you can use depends upon the character you get a bunch of skills the darkness techniques that's a rare one you get mastery of swords and sights and magic magic mastery I didn't know that existed You've got the Darkness Contract, which reduces damage dealt to you by your Darkness Techniques. Hmm, interesting. So, that's the Majin. And although this is a bit of a short video, comparatively speaking, the only thing left in 2.40 now is the big event, which I'm going to show you next time. So that concludes this round, and thanks for watching. I'll see you at the big event.